Welcome back. This is uh, episode four of the Eternal Studios Quick and Dirty Photoshop Spot Color Separation videos. What we're going to cover in uh, number four is uh, how to get some of these reds and yellows and some of your, your inner colors that, uh, that are really the, the most important parts of the, the design. Uh, you can really do a few ways to get these. Um, I'm just going to show you to keep it consistent with this first method in the channel mixer. Uh, what we have here is we left off. We have our multi-channel, and then we have an, our, our original. Uh, basically, as always, I'm going to want to duplicate this this original, just so I have something to work with, and I can always go back and reference the original. Um, basically, this multi-channel. We still have the shirt color. Um, I think last time we left it like a pink or or something like that. This is just a a green it's just basically if you want to show what the shirts the image is going to look like on the shirt it leaves you with your black your highlight um, i think i have the underbase off on this one that's the underbase so we're pretty much going to start building the colors inside of this underbase here uh, it's pretty simple we're going to go to cmyk mode again and we're just going to start channel mixing out some of these colors um, it's relatively straightforward what you do as always, you're going to flatten your image. You're going to change your mode to a CMYK mode. From that point, what you want to do is open your channel mixer in your adjustment layer here. Once you get your channel mixer opened, you're going to want to click at the monochrome, and then you're going to want to start cranking back uh, the colors you don't want namely cyan if we're gonna go with the red right off the right off the bat we'll probably crank up the red and crank the yellow down a bit this preview box you can always go back and forth just make sure you have the correct amount you really really just want to look into the the middle ranges here where that orange is gonna be because uh, what we're gonna do later is try to pull out the the middle orange just to make it flow better you can go with the yellow to red and let them mix on the shirt. It's just a little more precise and always adding another color is always helpful although it's a little cost prohibitive. Uh, once we get something we're comfortable with without too much information so we don't really don't want to overkill it. We'll click OK. We'll change our mode to grayscale and then we'll open our curves palette. And again, you want to find the darkest, the darkest reds. Since this is a red, it's really right near the edge here. We're just going to crank that, and then we're going to soften the the mix a little bit. Basically, all this is this curve is doing is lightening up this this orange area in the middle. Um, it's really a matter of trial and error. The more you do it, the more you'll you'll get familiar with how it goes. But you can always always bring up your information and see what kind of percentage dot there is your info palette and there you have it there is a red um, it's pretty rough it's in a gray, gray mode already really pretty much select all cut it out of there you can keep this open in case you want to go back in your history and, and adjust it but what we're going to take is that red add a new layer put it in the order we want and then paste it right in there. Control V, Command V. Select it, spot color. We'll go with a nice PMS, probably 185. Keep it real bright. It's pretty bright red. And uh, there you go. Looks pretty good. As we're looking at it now on the green, but uh, it'll look a little different once we get into that yellow and uh, and whatnot. But uh, you can go ahead and close this since we're, since we're okay with it. And uh, there you have it. We have one more color done. The red's in there, and uh, stay tuned. We'll do yellow next. Later.